In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to create sprites that move not only in random directions, but also random speeds. Because remember that we are modeling how molecules behave, and molecules move in random directions, but also random speeds. So right now what I'm going to do is, this is a little complicated, so what I'm going to do is I want to define what Scratch calls a variable. And a variable is a number that you set and you can set it to a specific number or you can have it set to a random number. So the variables are under the data set. And I'm going to click on make a variable. I'm going to give it a name, call it speed. This part's really important. You want to make sure that the variable is for this sprite only. If you forget that step, you're going to have some problems. And then click OK. And you'll see that the variable shows up over here. You can hide that if you want by unclicking here or you can click it if you'd like to see it. I'll leave it there so you can see what happens. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to move this set speed over here to the very beginning, and I'm going to set the speed to whatever number I'd like. In this case, I'd like to pick a random number. So I go back over to operators, pick random. Let's pick from 1 to 20. That will pick a random speed from 1 to 20 steps for every loop that it makes here. And now, instead of moving 10 steps down here, what we're going to do is I'm going to go over to data, and I'm going to move this variable in right here. And so for sprite 1, every time I click the flag, it's going to have a random speed between 1 and 20. Let's look at what happens. You can see now it's really quick, and now it's a little bit slower. Of course, sprite 2 is still moving at... Uh, 25 steps, so let's do the same thing. So we have to make another variable. We can call that speed again for this sprite only. Um, we will set the speed to a random number between 1 and 20. And then we go back over here to data and we move the sprite speed steps. And now let's look at what happens. Now they're both moving at random speeds between 1 and 20. Let's see again. And they should, when they interact, should bounce off each other still, because that command still works. Okay, now if, if these are getting in the way, we can unclick them for sprite 2, unclick it for sprite 1, and we can see now they're moving quite slowly. And now they're moving fast. But each one is moving at its own speed. So now you know how to create two sprites that move in random speeds and random directions, which is the beginning of us modeling how molecules behave.